All right. Hello, everybody. It is it is noon. Here we are. Um, I am just going to uh, pull up the passage for today, and then we will be ready to go. Um, hope that uh, your days are going well. Um, hope everybody's doing well today. All right. Well, let's um, let's uh, just get ourselves ready to pray. Um, hopefully, you're in a distraction-free environment, but um, we'll try to do our breath prayer to get us started. Thank you, Jesus. You love us. Thank you, Jesus. You love me. Thank you, Jesus. You love us. Thank you, Jesus. You love me. Jesus, we just thank you for this time. We need you, God. That's why we're here. You're our food. You're our drink. You are everything. You're our life source. You're the breath in our lungs. Jesus, we need you today. God, would you help us right now? Just all of the um, distractions, all of the pressures already on us for today, all the responsibilities, would you just take it from us, God? Uh, would you help us just to focus right in on you? We want to just sink into you today. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. God, would you help our minds just to, to just let go of all the stuff it wants to grab onto and focus on? Would you just help empty our minds and just help put us right into your presence that we could just uh, talk with you, listen to you, just be free? We just give you everything. We just put it in your hands. We just put all of our stuff into your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. We just need more of you, Jesus. We need more of you, Jesus. Let's just uh, take a moment to just confess sins to Jesus. Let's just uh, just get ourselves all cleaned up. Uh, let him just give us new grace. He's just got fresh grace every day for us. Come, Lord Jesus, just show us just where we've fallen short. God, would you just shine that light on the parts of our lives that just are, um, that we're trying to hide or we're trying to justify or excuse. God, we just want to be free. Help us to take ownership, Jesus. Help us to take ownership, God. Help us just to release it to you. Let's just take a, a moment of sacred silence here, just you and God, just you, uh, just being real with him and just confessing sin, apologizing and letting him just fill you back up with love and grace. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace. Thank you for your new graces every day. Thank you, Jesus, for um, just your mercies. Help us now just to receive it, God, and just to be empowered through your spirit, God. Help us to know uh, that we can come right now, right before your throne, that we can come with all boldness, uh, that we can just uh, come and um, just speak freely, God, that you love that we get in your face, that you love when we just get right in your ear that you hear everything. Thank you, Jesus, that you are that God, that you never push us away. You never get angry or annoyed with us, God. We can just come day after day, moment after moment, just keep coming to you right into your throne room. Thank you for making a way, Jesus. Thank you for making a way.
We're in uh, Psalm 99 today. I'm going to be uh, reading through the New Living Translation. Uh, as always, what I'm going to do is just, um, it's a shorter psalm, so I'm going to actually read it three times all the way through. Uh, I like to just read it all the way through because just my mind needs some time to just focus and take it in. And I hear different things each time I read it through. And so I just encourage you just to uh, listen and uh, ask the Lord to just speak through his word, that a, a phrase or a verse would be highlighted that is just for you today, uh, whatever hits you. Psalm 99. The Lord is king. Let the nations tremble. He sits on his throne between the cherubim. Let the whole earth quake. The Lord sits in majesty in Jerusalem, exalted above all the nations. Let them praise your great and awesome name. Your name is holy, mighty king, lover of justice. You have established fairness. You have acted with justice and righteousness throughout Israel. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow low before his feet, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel also called on his name. They cried to the Lord for help, and he answered them. He spoke to Israel from the pillar of cloud, and they followed the laws and decrees he gave them. O oh Lord our God, you answered them. You were a forgiving God to them, but you punished them when they went wrong. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain in Jerusalem. For the Lord our God is holy. The Lord is king. Let the nations tremble. He sits on his throne between the cherubim. Let the whole earth quake. The Lord sits in majesty in Jerusalem, exalted above all the nations. Let them praise your great and awesome name. Your name is holy. Mighty King, lover of justice, you have established fairness. You have acted with justice and righteousness throughout Israel. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow low before his feet, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel also called on his name. They cried to the Lord for help, and he answered them. He spoke to Israel from the pillar of cloud and they followed the laws and decrees he gave them. O oh Lord our God, you answered them. You were a forgiving God to them, but you punished them when they went wrong. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain in Jerusalem, for the Lord our God is holy. The Lord is king. Let the nations tremble. He sits on his throne between the cherubim. Let the whole earth quake. The Lord sits in majesty in Jerusalem, exalted above all the nations. Let them praise your great and awesome name. Your name is holy, mighty king, lover of justice. You have established fairness. You have acted with justice and righteousness throughout Israel. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow low before his feet, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel also called on his name. They cried to the Lord for help, and he answered them. He spoke to Israel from the pillar of cloud, and they followed the laws and decrees he gave them. O oh Lord our God, you answered them. You were a forgiving God to them, but you punished them when they went wrong. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain in Jerusalem, for the Lord our God is holy. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. Thank you that your word is full of life. Thank you that it, it has power. It changes us. It puts us into your spirit. It lets your spirit just move through us. Uh, it puts us into a place of truth. It takes away fear. It gives us faith. It gives us love. Jesus, thank you. Thank you that you just always are speaking to us. Thank you for the grace of giving us your word. God, would you come right now and just deepen this word, deep into our hearts, deep into our minds and our souls, that it would just produce fruit, that it would take root and just overcome us, God, that we would be characterized by your word and not by the things of our flesh, that we would be characterized by you, that our instincts would be formed by your word, and our reactions, and our thoughts, and our, uh, our what we say, that everything, Jesus, would be of you, that you would just lead us, God, that you would just get rid of all the sin and all the garbage that is always hijacking us, God, and that you would be our ruler, that you would be our, our king and our master through your word, Jesus. We need your word. We chew on these words. We meditate on them, God, like food and drink to our soul. Come, Lord Jesus, and go deeper with them. Go deeper now in this time. Now, just going to um, pray through smaller sections of Psalm 99. You're free to 
agree with me and pray along with me or also just let the words push you into uh, prayer uh, for yourself. The Lord is king. Let the nations tremble. He sits on his throne between the cherubim. Let the whole earth quake. The Lord sits in majesty in Jerusalem, exalted above all the nations. Thank you, Jesus, that you are on the throne. Thank you, Jesus, that, uh, that there is a throne that governs our universe and that you're on it. Thank you, Jesus, that nobody else is on it. Thank you, Jesus, that there's no power struggle for your throne. There's no uh, mutiny happening for your throne, that that's all been dealt with, that on the cross, Jesus, you have defeated your enemy completely, Jesus, that you have cast him out, that he cannot touch you, he cannot uh, move you even an inch, that he cannot do anything to thwart your plans. Thank you that you, you rule and reign over all parts of your creation, that whatever you want to do, you will do it, Jesus, that we are not uh, at the mercy of the created forces, that we are at your mercy and you are in charge, God, and that you just have a um, hundred million ways that you are dealing with every bit of suffering and evil in our world and turning it around for our good. Thank you, Jesus, that we can be secure. God, would you just let your sovereignty and your sovereign rule just create security amongst us? Would you drive out anxiety about uh, our current problems, our future, and all the ambiguity about our future? Um, our loved ones, our, our the elderly folks around us and their future, God, our children and their future, God. God, we just give you all this anxiety, God. We just give it over to you, and we just say, God, just just let us just be so sure about your, your rule and reign and about your strength and about your sovereignty, God, that we would be people that have just such strength and faith, faith because uh, of your sovereign rule, Jesus. You are on the throne. You are on the throne. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that you are exalted above all the nations. Thank you, Jesus, that all of the nations belong to you that all of the nations are yours, that, that, that you are the king of all kings. You are the president of all presidents. You are the government above all governments. And so, Jesus, would you just use this time to bring the nations into worship of you, God? Bring all of the nations to your feet, God. Would you just come and um, just bring a, a repentance and a worship of you around the world, Jesus? God, do it here in our country. Do it uh, all over the world, in every country that it is all yours, Jesus. Bring your children home. Defeat all the, the works of the enemy that is all over this earth. Let you would just defeat him and bring people into worship of you, Jesus. That you would be exalted in all the nations. God, we long to see more of that, Jesus. We're so in awe at how many people worship your name and in so many languages, God, in so many places, in all the cities around this world, God, just do more. Bring more people into that worship of you. Please, Jesus, do it, Lord Jesus. Do it, Lord Jesus. God, would you just give us a country right now? Give us a country that we could just cry out uh, for here in this next minute. Just encourage you, just whatever country God puts on your heart, just begin to pray out for that country. God, I just thank you for the Dominican Republic. I thank you for Haiti. I thank you for that island, God. I thank you for our friends and our brothers and sisters there. Jesus, would you just come and meet every one of their needs? Would you just strengthen the church in this time that they can't be together? Would you strengthen them, Jesus? Would you just meet every single one of your kids in their own homes? Would you feed every one of them, Jesus? Would you continue to give them all that they need and give them hope? God, and that would you just... Just burn that missionary fire in their hearts, that you would send them, uh, you would send them to the nations, God, that they would just change uh, the world uh, with you, God. Keep loving that country. Keep bringing it all the goodness that it, it, uh, it needs, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mighty King, lover of justice, you have established fairness you have acted with justice and righteousness throughout Israel. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow low before his feet, for he is holy.
Lord Jesus, you are just in righteousness. It's just who you are. In, into your, it's your very blood. It's your very being. It's not a, even a choice you make. It's just who you are all the time. Lord Jesus, we need your justice. We need your righteousness in our land. Lord Jesus, you, you, you command us to just keep calling down you to our broken earth. God, we need this part of you, Jesus. We need more justice in this land. Lord Jesus, I just cry out uh, on behalf of um, black men who are just being stereotyped and, and, and having violent acts done to them, overtly violent acts, God, uh, being misjudged all the time, Jesus. Would you bring justice for them in our land, Jesus? I, I repent uh, for um, my, my white brothers and for just the, um, the ways that uh, my people have just used power and just... Uh, and have stayed in stereotype, forgive us, Jesus. Bring justice to our land. Bring justice for my Asian American brothers and sisters who keep facing all these looks and all the comments and all this false labeling in the midst of this pandemic. God, bring justice to them. Lord Jesus, just cleanse our land from wickedness and from evil. God, for all the immigrants in our land, God, I just cry out for them and ask for justice for them, Jesus. Uh, that they would be seen for the value that they are uh, uh, in amongst us, God. They would be seen as whole people, Jesus. Bring justice to our land. Lord God, I just cry out even just for the corruption, the injustice in so many governments across this globe, Lord Jesus. Would you just bring justice, God, to our government structures, God? Would you just bow our government officials' knees to you, that they would be in awe of you and and just want to serve people instead of exploiting people. Lord Jesus, bring your righteousness. God, cleanse uh, this land from wickedness. Cleanse our city from wickedness, God, our communities, Lord Jesus, that people would trust you, would have a right fear of you, that um, every kind of wickedness from uh, just uh, corporate uh, theft down to street theft, from uh, institutional violence, down to individual violence. Lord Jesus, materialism, uh, sexual brokenness and addiction, God, all of it just cleanse our land. Bring your justice, Lord Jesus. Bring your righteousness uh, that we would be characterized more by you than by our sin, Lord Jesus. Come and cleanse our land. Come and save us, Jesus. We need you. Oh, we need you to just establish your throne completely here in this place. Come, Lord Jesus, and come quickly. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel also called on his name. They cried to the Lord for help, and he answered them. Jesus, thank you for answering your people. Historically, today, God, would you just, would you convince us right now even more of how much you answer prayer? God, would you forgive us for the ways that we just don't come to you enough, that we still have instincts to deal with things on our own. We still get trapped into this false thinking that prayer is not productivity. God, would you just cause us to repent? God, help open up our eyes to see how much you answer prayer. God, would you raise up uh, us as people of prayer, that our lives would be characterized by prayer, not just that we would do acts of prayer every once in a while, but that we would be characterized of people of prayer. Lord Jesus, would you rip us away from anything that is consuming us, that's keeping us from the prayer that we're supposed to be um, doing every day, God, that it would just it would become just our lifeblood, that it would just become who we are all the time, God, would you raise up prayer in our churches, God, that new life and Epicenter West LA, that hope that it would just, we would be characterized by prayer, that our people would just love to pray, that we would cry out to you day and night, that we would just know that this is where we find you and find life, God, that you answer prayer. Lord Jesus, God, just make us people who can get on our knees more, that have stronger spirits, that can have stamina in prayer, God, that we would just, it would become like life. It wouldn't just be ritualistic or routine or going through motions. It wouldn't feel like a grind, that it would just be like intimacy with you, God, that it would just be life-giving. 
we just would you come and just waken up our spirits and just um, give us just a joy to be in your presence would you teach us how to pray would you teach us how to listen to you and to respond to you jesus thank you god just come and fill us up give us all that we need to just be people that are always with you throughout the days god just constantly taking everything that we need to you thank you jesus raise up our churches raise up prayer in our churches let it be the lifeblood of our churches thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus i just feeling something in my spirit as i was praying on this i just feel just uh yeah, i just think this is where god wants us he wants us to be people of prayer he wants us to ask him for help to pray more he wants us to be people who just love to pray. God, take us, just overcome our flesh. Overcome that parts of our brain that still see it as hard or boring or dull. Overcome the, and, and just heal us of addictions to, to too much entertainment and stimulus, God. That we would just be at peace in the quiet. That we would be secure with you, Jesus. That we would just know how to just sink right into your presence throughout our days. Lord Jesus, that we would just be fully convinced of the power of prayer. Come, Lord Jesus, and just change us, God. Change us, God, that we would just labor for all the things that we want to see happen in prayer as much as we labor for them in just our own work ethic, God. Come, Jesus, raise up our churches to be powerful instruments of prayer. Raise up, would you just even be calling forth people right now that you would just be convicting them and helping them to say yes would you especially just get our folks just through the first stage that they would hold on and just wait till there's breakthrough that they would not leave too soon or i just pray against discouragement and frustration god that, that people would just stay with it god that you would meet them in real ways god help them just to plug right into your life and your energy and your joy Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He spoke to Israel from the pillar of cloud, and they followed the laws and decrees he gave them. O oh Lord our God, you answered them. You were a forgiving God to them, but you punished them when they went wrong. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain in Jerusalem, for the Lord our God is holy. Jesus, we need your laws and decrees right now. We need you to guide us. We need you to guide us as individuals, just for today, guide us into the right actions, God. Help us to know how to interact with our family members, know what we are to get done today. God, we pray that you would guide us just as churches, God. We need to know in these next couple months what we're supposed to do, Lord Jesus. We need to know, God, how we're supposed to be the church. Would you guide us and give us your decrees? God, we need your law. We need your word. We need your, your leadership, Lord Jesus. Help us to have your wisdom, to hear, you, hear your voice above all the other voices, God. Come and guide us. Come and give us direction. Why don't we just end our time just sinking a little bit here into our breath prayer as we just seek the Lord's guidance just in our own lives. Just invite you to put whatever decisions or questions you have just right into his hands. Just slow down our breathing. Thank you, Jesus. You guide me. 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 God, we're listening. Speak to us right now, God.
Thank you, Jesus. God, would you help us to keep listening to you all day long? Would you help us keep bringing our needs to you? Thank you, Jesus, for this time. We love you, Jesus. We love you. We pray this in your name. Amen. Amen, church. Uh, thanks for joining today. I uh, hope that uh, Psalm 99 can be an anchor for you today. Love you and uh, big hugs. And we will um, see you tomorrow, Lord willing.